Island Dave here, huh? Island Dave on an island. Hey, Lord, Lord the value, man. Lord the value, man. Why go on, girl? Why go on? Why go on, pretty girl? Huh? Why you go on? Big up yourself, girl. Yes. Go get you some steam fish and okra. Yes. Some steam fish and okra, girl. Why go on, pretty girl? Huh? Yes. Go suck your mother. Stop it. Get some help. What one? What transpired from that? Incident with Vibes Cartel and Mofado that lasts for decades now and a couple of years and it's still going on. The war never done. I feel like that was a, a transition point with, with like the mentality of the youth in Jamaica. I mean, I have heard actually, even in other islands as well, you know what I mean? Like that specific war kind of like, I remember which island somebody did tell me, but it was literally like, a very low murder rate before they said that they would change after that. People, Kibaka talk about other things. Kibaka say yes. Mother and vibe started war, influence a whole heap youth and change their mind and escalate the crime to a higher level. That he must say, that's Kibaka's opinion, people. I want to hear yours in the comment section. See him? If I review, make sure you say you well is smiley than him review them accurate when everybody rang. You're watching them and you don't know, sir. I voltage they represent for Mali than TV. <laughs> section about this seen we find an interview in the media people that was done a couple of days ago by Kibaka Parabin seen it was an interview that was done with Chin from Irish and Chin and you then I saw business long time from world class mighty call one of them we don't know the thing of people what's it pretty seen so Kibaka was asked a lot of questions pertaining to dance and the violence and the gun lyrics and a whole crocus bag of things, you know, he was asked and, you know, Kibaka surprised me with the things that he said about Movado and Vibes Cartel. You get to me, I say, and people, when I get to that part of the video, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to want to know from you people out there in the comment section what you guys think about this whole, you know, answer that Kibaka gave about dancer and dancehall artists. See, Movado and Vibes Cartel. But people, Alkaline's name was also mentioned in that interview. See? And the mention, Alkaline's name was mentioned in Kimaka's statement. He said, people, I'm going to the interview. I don't know if I'm going pause it, talk about it on with us. You know? We just communicate about it in the comment section. I don't know the play already. As I to check in on the like up the video, people, and share the video them. I don't know the play already, man. I'm on TV. We're out here building things still. You know, the work never stops. We're just getting started. See? But you don't know, keep on class set. Alkaline, the vendetta boss, the young lad, the top price artist. The artist who have dance on, like, I watch the media. So when they can't tell me drop on song, they like, them nervous. See? They have 100 albums to drop and they're free to drop them because they must say, one day we'll get no support because like Alkaline alone and the whole of support. But Kimo Alkaline say, yo, you see Alkaline, Alkaline follow Cartel and Bleach. Alkaline follow Vibes Cartel, Footstep and Bleach. So, and that Kimo Alkaline say, I don't know when get that from because Vibes Cartel wasn't the only person bleaching over the years. People thought the truth. 
Yes, Vibes Cartel is a very influential artist and he influenced that bleaching, but I don't think that Alkaline got that bleaching from Vibes Cartel. Because right now, you have to say the whole of dancer and bleach out. And people are bleached way before Vibes Cartel, even from our city, Girl to go be here. We got pull that thugs from Bobby, you know the thing go. Uh-huh. But you don't know people, I don't want to talk about that thing here. I want to jump into, into this whole interview with Kibaka and Chin. When I ask him a bag of things and I talk about dancing and the culture and the politicians and the politician and everything. So if you're not ready, just ready, man, then we'll just jump in right and see what I'm going over there. Yeah, let's do this. I'm out. That's how the reggae space is home to a lot of positive artists. Artists which gained a lot of influence from the hardcore dancehall space. My next guest, reggae revivalist Kabaka Pyramid. Kabaka. Blessed over. Give thanks for brother. Give thanks for the reason. Here, sir. So if you don't know Kabaka Pyramid, you don't know reggae music. Same kind. Kabaka is a good artist. You know what I mean? Over the reggae side, we ever touch a system. Kabaka have all music out there with them band theme and thing. You see me? Hey, Mr. Politician, man. Mmm, mashing up the country with a demolition plan. Mmm, you know what I sound the people. You know what I'm going right now? Yeah, man, hopefully, okay, man. So, we're basically, you know, having this huge discussion here at Soundchat Radio, and um, the purpose of it is to c kind of figure out if there is some connection between hardcore gun lyrics in the dancehall space. The boss one with there's some connection with the hardcore gun lyrics in the dance hall space. See? So, he might touch some point that, you know, I would love to hear like a reggae artist answer these things because remember, these reggae artists, they don't do violent song. They don't do nothing about no shooting, no killing, no this, no that. You know what I mean? It's just righteousness and them are go for the system. Them just are go for the system or whatever it is. See? So, I mean, you are going to answer so now. And the behavior of many in Jamaica. Um, in other words, is the gun lyrics um, adding to the crime rate in Jamaica? Is it having a negative effect on the people in society? And I want to get your views on that. Viewers and subscribers, before Kibaka answer that question, I'm going to answer that question right here. And I want you people to also answer the question in the comment section. I'm answering the question before Kibaka does. People, to be honest, yes, dancehall, the violence part of it, influence a lot of you. And this is the reason why I said that. There are some people out there can use their brain properly. And there are some people out there can't use their brain properly. People use it for them and think for them. To so some people out there, we'll hear some artists say, Papa, if you're sitting and beat it, put them in a traffic, left the car seat, charge it. Them just believe, say, yeah, man, we you do the same. And then run go do it while some people just keep up a vibes to the music and just run say, yeah man, I fun that. So yes, it have a little bit of influence. But the biggest part of the influence in the crime in Jamaica with this bag of shooting and killing and gun thing, it start with the bigger heads them, the politician them. Not the police, you know, the politician and then the police. You know, like what I said, just say, you know, just drop a seat on the way. You know the play already. Keep up. Yeah, for me, I mean, you know, them things will come down to like statistics and actually doing the research and data, but just just the vibe, you know, the feeling when you get off of the street, the feeling when you're, when you're listening to news and when you're, when you're the top calls for our brand on the street level. But I feel like, I feel like, you know, there's, there's always been a certain level of influence, but at the same time, gun violence have gone before gun lyrics, you know what I mean? People, when you hear what Kibaka said, gun violence are going a long time way before gun lyrics. And a reality, see? The, 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 the inner city them in Jamaica a long time, remember mash up, seeing with the bag of violence, the bag of war, fighting for PMP and labor rights. So I want to see a dance hall, music, influence these people, figure out, fight for PMP and labor rights and kill off them cousin and their auntie and their uncle and their friends them just because they want the other party for win. I'm not telling me nothing. Music. You know, when you talk about, you know, 70s with the whole politics friction and all of them kind of thing, like, it's been a factor. But I do think that, my honest opinion still, it's the, the cartel and border war. See, see, Kibaka touched the party of people, the cartel and the border war. 
And this is a part of the interesting part of the interview, people. See him? The man I got to talk about what one, what transpired from that incident with Vibe Cartel and Movado that lasts for decades now and a couple of years and it's still going on. The war never done. See, like, that was a, a transition point with, with like, the mentality of the youth in Jamaica. I mean, I have heard, actually, even in other islands as well, you know what I mean, like, that specific war kind of, like, yes, sir, I remember which island somebody did tell me, but it was literally, like, a very low murder rate before the entire day. They changed after that. People, keep on talking about other things. Keep on talking say yes. Mother and vibe started war, influence a whole heap youth and change their mind and escalate the crime to a higher level. That he must say, that's Kibaka's opinion, people. I want to hear yours in the comment section. See him? He also stated that see Mother and Vibes Cartel war influence other people in other Caribbean countries also that had a low crime rate at the time. See him? And because of the war, it escalated to a higher level. So Vibes Cartel and Movado get blamed for Trinidad, Guyana, all of the Caribbean country them, where I war right now. That don't make no sense to me. Feel like when I tell life for the artists, they're gonna try to blame them. See? And what are we song? You know what I mean? An artist is up to the end and all kind of things. But I feel like there was a line where gun lyrics never did too cross until that war. Oh, what? People, when you hear that, the man has say yes. Vibes cartel and Movado mess up a whole heap of youth in the game. The man has say yeah. Certain thing didn't escalate and didn't cross until that war. To be honest, people, yes. On a level, there was a lot of people in Jamaica, in the inner city communities. But I fact, the entire Jamaica and our country, see, up a town, the whole place. People of Gaza, people of Gully. In a dance hall, you go a dance hall, the same thing with selectors and sound man. Some say Gully, some say Gaza. We see where people lost their hand, feet, head, toe, finger because of Gully Gaza. Lose all stuff, bike and car because of Gully Gaza. So, yes, I agree with Kibaka and I live with that. Yes, it influenced some people, you know, to at least to a certain level, but the violence was already there, you know what I mean? And I always say this, people, it would be good to see dancehall artists clean up their lyrics and do less violent songs, you know what I mean? Because the bigger heads are already pointing fingers at the dancehall artists, and there are some dancehall patriots, dancehall fans, dancehall artists out there, and reggae artists and reggae fans who are pointing fingers at dancehall, say it's too raunchy, it's too loud, it's too raw. You know what I mean? So, people, when you tell me what you think about that, tell me if you think it's too raw. Tell me if you think too much gun lyrics are promoting at the media. Big up to the Vendetta Boss. There was an album the other day by the name of Top Price. Alkaline didn't go violent. He go party, he go happiness, he go the girl them. He go make money. He still a remind us, brother, don't trust mankind. You get what I say? Alkaline in a deep meditation. The album is different. First, I didn't understand it, but when I read into the whole album and the whole chakra and everything with Alkaline and the energy where I'm a pray, then I get what Alkaline is. People, I'm not talking the truth. Dance and music need to clean up now. I'm not telling me now. What do you think was so significant about the cartel versus Movado, Gully versus Gaza war that pretty much allowed that generation to look at lyrics, bad man lyrics differently? There was, there was a dark side to the lyrics, in my opinion. There was like an evil kind of nature to the lyrics. Kibaka said the evil, the dark side thing were evil. It was dark. The man has said, brother, the, the lyrics of a vibe starter and Movado used to put out in the media. It was too dark, dog. You come like say the devil did a walk through them lyrics there. And that the man has said, brother, the man has said that take over the youth, their mind, and the youth them feel like a something good and then they just act on it. But I mean, yes, I'm aware of it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna talk about them evil and like the devil of power, the devil of fear, them, and it reached to a point where 
We don't know. We never, we never hear certain things that get so graphic. You know what I mean? In a them time there. And then, you see, influenced by that. You see, like, family, father, like, Uncle D, man. And I... People, you keep on say certain things gonna escalate until that time. So keep on saying, blame a whole heap of things from Gully Gods of War, brother. The man has said then, go so boom. Why the man go rise up, start out of the whole evil thing what did I go on the lyrics them? Then the Uncle Demon Tommy Lee forward. Umbokla Kibaka Janua. People remember say one thing that used to beat Tommy Lee. Aye. And I said we don't want no demon in the dance so looking at demon. We don't want no demon on your bullet. Bang! Yo! And then Tommy Lee they turn around and do a song and call him Goated. You remember the song Goated? <laughs> Yo, killer really look like a goatee still. Well, then kind of thing, and then it's like dance all of a sudden, it's dance tone. You know what I mean? And then, and then the, 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 the um, acceptance of bleach and all of them kind of thing from the cartel influence. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, influencing like the alkaline and all of these people. And people, they hear from themselves and they're like, I'm not tell. Kibaka say, yeah, the bleach and the cartel forward or twin. It influenced like the likes of Alkaline and some other artists. People who feel like a vice cartel influence Alkaline for bleaching a dance hall like that Kibaka said. So Kibaka said, Mavado, Vibes Cartel, Mafla Dance Hall, influence you them with the crime rate and everything we are taking place right now. And forward up with too much evil lyrics and then he must say, Alkaline, author with him bleaching and then some other artists pick it up to they got it from Vibes Cartel. So Vibes Cartel are get blamed for the violence and he's also getting blamed for the bleaching. My father are get blamed for the violence, but you don't know the girl got no bleach. <laughs> That's why I'm rich. <laughs> it's like you just you just go in on the street now and it's like you see the youth them with the bleach face and the tattoo of skin and it's like just the feeling where you get it, it does not feel right, bro. You know what I mean? I, let me, yeah, let me, let me, let me ask like you this. It's like that directly to do with the music, you know? Let me ask you this, Kabaka. In your own opinion, do you feel that the lyrics come first and then the action? Or the action comes first and then the DJs speak about it on, you know, in their music? That question is a set-up question. That question is a set-up question. But never hear how Kabaka answer this question. See, Garchina said, brother, do you think that the action came before the lyrics or the lyrics came before the action from these dancehall artists so we, 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 we ask that dancehall artists literally I must them going to our by going to the people or influence what we are say like let me know keep up and answer the part here I think it's a chicken and the head thing you know you can't really you know say one or the other for both kind of influence but it's like it can, it can, it can have a snowball effect if something don't change. You know what I mean? It just build up and build up and it get worse. So the worst things that happen is the worst the, the, the music get and then the worst the music get. So it, it's hard to say, but I do feel like if the music wasn't as drastic as it was, I don't think there would be as drastic a change. You know what I mean? And I, you know, I don't have the numbers for in looking front of me to say, how has the crime rate increased over what period and what I just know that so Jamaica is like what top three in other world, you know, and it, it don't have to be that way, you know. So the boss has said, basically, yes, there was violence and the crime rate was always, you know, there, but he just feel like since Gully Gaza, Vibes Cartel, Movada, Movada, Vibes Cartel, it has escalated some more. And there's no stopping point right now because other artists is basically doing the same thing. And that thing must say no people. So what do you think? When you feel like say yes, it's Gully Gaza War that brought Jamaica to where it is right now at this moment with a bunch of knockings are going on and a bunch of woolly thing are going on, brother. Women are missing, are missing like you know, woolly part thing are going on in Jamaica, the crime rate grimy. You get to me I say, brother. People, do you guys think you know that the Gully Gaza thing really escalate the minds of the younger generation to be so grimy at this point? I mean, here's some more to interview you because it's very interesting and these are a lot of strong question point. Um, people, I want you guys to be into this video because we we'll probably do all uh, a stream on that one. Here.
I mean, and, and I know that the music does have an influence, so. What, like, what do you feel makes the gun lyrics of, you know, we speak about the Cartel and Bovado era, so yeah. let's use that and come forward with it, right? Um, yeah. What do you feel that, you know, makes from that point to this present time so relatable to the youth them? Why are they gravitating towards it? Why are they doing what the man they might talk about in other music, for instance? That's a great question. Because Gully Gaza were done for almost years. Are in, not literally done, but Movado and Vibes Cartel. See? Movado and Vibes Cartel. These people are not literally in a lyrical confrontation at the moment, people. See? So we don't see where that should still be an influence towards these people's mind, like the younger generation right now. That no make no sense to me. That no other. That why are they done from when? See? Some of you have one. I mean, I think there is a there is a greater reliance on on just the the graphic impact of your lyrics. I feel like the wow factor thing is a is a major thing right now. Whereas back in the day there was a lot of emphasis on your voice and your style and, and having a unique style, but it's like no is the more the more you can say things that that's how to make people a talk about it to them one another. It's like a viral nature. So the more outlandish you can get and the more absurd you can get to the lyrics is like the better now. Yeah. People don't agree with that. The man has said that's the reason why we as the fans out here and the vloggers them are everyone will love dance all. That's the reason why we're not getting great and good music because dance hall was already polluted from the Gully Gaza thing. So these younger generation now, these artists think that they have to be so grimy and putting out some wicked graphic songs that you can literally vision like, you know, it's vivid, it's in front of your eyes. That's what Kibaka said. So Kibaka said, yes, the youth them to their belief say, yo, them have to be so nasty, so ranty, you're so ignorant in them song, you know? People, I, you know, I agree with that. I don't agree with that part. No, I don't think that. I think that each and every artist have their own mindset right now in a dance hall. Because even Skilly Ben, I can't point for an artist in a dance hall right now and say, oh Skilly Ben, look up to the artist here. And him make Skilly Ben do so much garbage song. Him say a Vibes Cartel influence him. So I don't know what well, one with theme brain or Vibes Cartel brain, why him influence do so much garbage. No, and I feel like it that, that don't only affect reggae and dance as the same thing I go on in the US and when you you three songs like WAP and all of them kind of thing, it's just the more outlandish you can get, but me feel like we in a Jamaica will always take things to the extreme. You know what I mean? And That's a strong point I like how Kibaka touched the American market in this interview. He's saying that it's the same thing going on overseas. The music does turn garbage all of a sudden. The man I say, yeah, yeah, my brother, I the same thing with Cardi B, them and Megan, them and the whole of them and the Nicki, them and all of these people. The more, the ranchier you can be, the more outlaw you can be, it's the better for you. So the man I say, basically, the world is in a different direction right now, and the music and the artists them of today. People, do you guys agree? The comment section is open for a million comments. I, I, I feel like it really comes down to that. Like, a man who, a man, is just look on Phantom Moja. It's like a man who wants to do, a man who wants to say things that are going to make people deaf on them phone. Like, you can't believe the man said that. You know, and that is the currency right now. You know? The man touched Phantom Moja in the interview, people. The man has said Phantom Moja. Last right now, and I pick up all of this thing where I must sit out here. The man I say, brother, Phantom Moja said the wrong thing, them I do the wrong thing, them can't want people for them on their phone and I view him. So basically, he must say the rest of sell out and the rest of choose the hype place now and just want the hype like what I'm saying. I'm going to intense them and everybody in the media. People, <laughs> Phantom Moja, I feel like the man just had the music and just a full drive life. You get what I say? That's how I believe. And, and, and the people are just following the, they're following the wave, they're following the currency. And the, the, negative, the negative impact is basically um, being more and more obviously seen. Why, why, 
did you choose to go the route that you went with, with your lyrics? I mean, for me, it's just the music that influenced me, you know, and knowing that it had that impact on my search life, takes it like a lot music, for example, that changed my life and bring me to us, that's all right. So the boss has said, a different music influenced him. See? A people like, you know, the great Sizzler Kalonji and them youth there, where do great music influence man, they must say, have to come fight the system and fight to get the youths and try to do some positive music. So basically, he must say, no, I know my father and cartel them, I know Bunty Killer, I know Shabba Ranks them, I know none of them dance hall, man, they influence me. I could never be influenced by dance hall artists. I don't like them music, and that's what I said, but he not deliberately went into that. But may I explain where I'm going, because I'm a beat around the bush. See? So if I know that music can do that for me, then I know that music can do that for all the other people. We all know the influence that Sizzler has. But not only Sizzler, you know, Capleton, Wojo, you know, even go, go forward to Bob Marley, Peter Tash, the Burning Spirit. This is life changing music. You know, this is culture changing music. So that, that is really the impact. If I if if at the end of the day people can say Kabaka Pyramid, you know, bring a level of enlightenment or a level of illumination to people's mind, then we know that is a great legacy to have. You know, and that, that worked more to me than you know, you 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 you, you meant how old if you take up gun and kill them on a level. So the boss basically has said his music is to influence the people in mind. To elevate their mind, you know, tell them about positivity, tell them about God, tell them, say them for us, you know, don't believe in the system, believe in yourself, do you? They want to say, yo, you know what, the music to influence the younger generation for them to go pick up a strap and strap up like a belt. If you know what I mean, I'm going to knock one of them for them and say that. No, I don't want my music to be in that place. See, this interview is a long one, I want to think about it, talk about So, I'm going to probably have part one. And part second for that video, so let me get two part one. You know what I mean? Or you go viral, or you go for whatever. You know, so that is the, that is the currency that I, I look to have, and, and that's the value I put on my music because of what music did for me. If, if Sizzler could have brought you through his music to Rastafari, can the gun lyrics bring the youth into badness? What a question! The man has say yo! Sizzler money, no sizzler money. Yo, what you talking about money then? Your laps, brother. Yo, that folly. Yo, the man has said, yo, sizzler lyrics bring you to righteousness and Rastafari. Do you think that the good lyrics can bring the youth them to badness? No, no, what a question. I want to hear how Kibaka is going to answer this one. I want to hear. I feel it, feel it, tell him, feel it. Definitely, you know what I mean? And, and I, I do feel like it can inspire because. People say definitely, him say yes. Him say yes. See, it can elevate to that place where the gun lyrics will influence a youth. Where have your money, where chop, the chopper chop them. Yeah, the one of them in a sense, where they're chopping at them head. Yeah, the man has said, the youth, them where make the money. We just got some woman, take up the money, and run, go buy a strap to their ear. You know? Move on, our vibes can't tell us whosoever it is in the media, you know, sing like a gun song or, or a TJ or a chronicle or whosoever it is, like people. Do you think that dance song, war songs, war lyrics, bust the middle in a mega day, bust at a place, shoot at a place in the funeral and go on? Do you think that these lyrics really literally put that legacy, that thought, that mindset? In people's brain for them to take up their money to go buy a strap. You may put the comment section for that video. Car, I need to hear it from you guys. When when the lyrics get on a real graphic level, you know it's like it's like you know it, well it's one of them tricky things that because we love to watch like movies and them things that we have violence and things. We love to you know with them them all is a debate in the US or in certain places in our world. Video games and the minds of the youths and things. But at the end of the day, if something is not right in certain countries, you're not going to be aware of it. So, on certain level, if you, we know, we know what music is, with music is vital. So, it can put a certain frequency in the minds of the youth. <laughs> so, the master said, basically, yes, it puts certain things in the minds of the youth. See? But for me, people, if Kibaka ever said that, that means. The movie, the movie them, the video game them, all of them have gone. 
All of them are violence. So what are we going to do about Sylvester Salone? What are we going to do about Van Damme them? We are going to do about certain man we are flick off a place and this and that. What we are going to do about them Chuck Norris here? What we are going to do about the Arnold Slash nigga? What we are going to do about... Yo, what we are going to do about people? About the movie them we are teach, we say, yo, boss boy, Ed. Or, you know, certain things, certain vivid, certain graphics, certain things that's in front of you, the big screen. We are going to talk about music. So how oh, do not talk about the movie them Kibaka? What do not say? What you say, brother? You attack dance hall? Brother, no. Talk about the movie them. Talk about the politician them cause. I know me don't hear Kibaka mention the politician them in this. And that he means to talk about the most. You know, through the music, and music is the best way to brainwash somebody or to, 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 to get somebody to act in a certain way using... People! Do you guys think that music is the easiest and the best way to brainwash someone or to get them in a particular mood or into a certain thoughts to do certain things? Like, I want to hear from you people out there. See? Big up to the people who watch the video from the start to the end. See? Because this is a video where people need to watch it to get the fullness of what Kibaka is saying. I would love to know. Musical vibration. So then putting these tones in other music, these messages in other music. You know, and that must see through to the human mind on some level, whether it's conscious or subconscious. So that, that is really the impact of music. So it's such a powerful thing, and we have to know what we're doing with music. So for me, I don't really blame the artist in an honor sense. Whenever. What? What Kibaka does, sir? We have to be careful how we sing, sir. See? We have to be careful how we sing because, yeah, influence the people in mind. General Star. Reality that you know influence some of the youth their mind. But that's not the cause of the crime, my G. No, that's not the cause of the crime. Mm-mm. In our education, it's more the intelligent artists that we are coming to go lyrics, that we go to school, we know certain things, we have parents where they love them, and they are coming certain gun lyrics and certain things, we just, you know what I mean? Just really derogatory to the minds of the youth, and that really bother me on a level. That is irresponsible, you know? So keep on saying, expect the gun lyrics and the negativity people from, from the artists that were done so not have no education. You must have them looking at the game and see some youth who have education and are raised properly by their mom and their dad doing certain kind of music out here. You must be literally scratching your head and can't believe. See? So the man I say, yo, all the man I say intelligent. And I do certain music. Vibes card to the matter at this again. I remember so them said Vibes card to the most intelligent dancer, artist. <laughs> I, I was just going to ask you, you know, how do you feel about that particular artist that would say, well, you know, the life in which he grew up in and everything around him in the garrison, this is what, you know, he brings to life in his, in his songs. And I was going to ask you if you feel that that person would be wrong for reflecting that in the music. That is the thing, you can reflect things without encouraging it. That is the thing, it's like, I feel like, uh, take old time for example, no real policy voting for old time. Then when they talk about gun violence and then talk about selling drugs and everything, but it's not like, they not tell you, they say, we do this because we love it. You know what I mean? This is just the life that the man that did have. And this is what they're reflecting what's happening in other man's environment. <laughs> but I never get this old time and feel like, say, oh, People, people, right there, sir. The man has said, Yo, yeah, hear me. The question was so at him, and he must say, I hear me, people. Like, do you think, do you think that these artists are singing about what they see and what they were raised around and brought up around and brought up with? See, do you think they're just painting that picture in the music? He must say, Yes, you can paint a picture. And don't influence it. So basically, must say the picture when them paint about what they saw, what they knew or know about, it's too vivid for the minds of the youth. Viewers and subscribers, people who watch the video to this point, I'm gonna leave the rest of this interview for a part second, seeing because Kibaka has some holy part of things that he said in this interview, seeing. So right now, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell so you can know when I drop these videos, people. And also, like the video, drop your comment, share the video. And I will see you guys soon.
like very soon.